This is the axle part for the wheel assembly. I have started by opening a new part file in SOLIDWORKS. I have gone to my options and turned on the sketch grid and have made sure that my units are in inches. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start this one on the right side plane, so I'm going to click the right plane and I'm going to click on sketch and that will rotate the right plane for me. It will activate the sketch. I have my grids and I'm ready to draw. From here I'm going to put a circle on it. So it's a right click circle. And I'm going to start this one from the origin again. Click it in place. Right click again. Smart dimension. Click on the circle. Click to place the dimension and then type in the dimension, which I believe is one inch diameter. And hit enter. All right, now we are ready to extrude it. So to extrude it, I'm going to go up to the Features tab on the Command Manager. Click on Extruded Boss Base. I'm going to do something a little different with this one. My, my distance is 1.5. But notice it's under Blind, as which we did last time on the bushing. But this time, I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose Mid-Plane. Now it will extrude 0.75 to the left and 0.75 to the right. And I'm going to click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and sketch on this surface. So I'm going to click on the surface. I'm going to turn it normal to. I'm going to right click, activate the sketch, right click again, and put a circle on it. Normally, we would just put the circle on the origin right here, but I'm going to show you a method of, if, we, if for some reason we don't have the circle on there, uh, how to move it. So I've drawn my circle. Let's go ahead and dimension it. So smart dimension. And the dimension on this one, I believe, is 0.75. All right, I'm going to hit Escape to get out of the Dimension tool. Now, I could just click on here, hold the mouse button down, and I can move that, and I could just lock it in to the origin if I wanted to. I'm going to show you one other method. So I'm just going to drop it over here somewhere. Up here on the top, on my Command Manager, I have Display Delete Relations. There's a flyout menu underneath it, and it has what is called Add Relation. I'm going to click on that button. Notice point 2 is already highlighted in the box. I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. I do want to highlight the edge of the circle. And there it is, arc 1. And I'm going to highlight the edge of the other circle, which is edge 1. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to choose concentric, and that will lock them in place. Click the check mark, and they are now locked. All right, so let's go up and extrude that. I'm going to go to Features, Extrude Boss Base again. And it is, I'm, I'm going to use Blind this time. And I believe it is 0.75 on the distance. And hit the check mark. All right, so we have it on one side. Now we're going to use another feature from the Command Manager, on the Features Command Manager. We're going to use the Mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight the Extrude 2. I'm going to go to the Mirror. Notice it already puts it in. Features to Mirror, Extrude 2. Now it's looking for a Mirror Face. Well, we want this plane that we started with. And that's the right side plane. And it is hiding under here under Part 4. If I hit the little plus sign, it will expand it. And I'm going to go down to Right Plane. Make sure that the plane area is highlighted. Right Plane. And it'll take this piece and mirror it over to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark. All right. 
we have one last item to do on here, and that is to put in our um, chamfer on the edge. Chamfer is, let's see if I can get this a little smaller, chamfer is hiding under another flyout menu. It's on the features command manager again. So I'm going to click on the flyout and click on chamfer. When chamfer comes up, um, I want to make sure I'm using edges. And the edge is noticed with a line coming straight down. The surface is a box. So I want to make sure I get the edge here and the edge on the other side. And now I can put in my distance, and I believe the distance is 0.125. And I'm going to click the check mark. And now the axle part is completed and ready to be saved.